Uh, <laughs> oh, Slade, too bad. I stays on. It's not me. <laughs> Sponsorships. Uh, the reason I want to talk about this is because, um, as you can see on the, on the slides, I own a company called Easy Computer Solutions. Um, nothing major, just a small little thing I got running uh, from my home. Uh, we fix computers, provide solutions, um, fix viruses, all kinds of little things right there. And uh, <coughs> the reason it's a unique approach is because we decided not to approach any corporations or any companies. Um, Reason being is because we've done that before for courses like uh, marketing, promotion, management, and digital marketing. So even though negotiations with the company is a really important part of uh, the project, we feel we've got our hands wet in that field before. Um, the second point mentioned in our own backyard, um, instead of going to companies like Best Buy or uh, other computer-related uh, stores like The Source, uh, when you have a company in your own backyard run by one of the team members, uh, I felt that it was nice. I suggested the idea and the rest of the guys loved it. So. Uh, uh, we decided to go with that. Uh, we have some financial uh, leg room to play with, so uh, funding is not necessarily something we need to approach anybody for. 
Uh, there's some dollar figures we can put in ourselves. And of course, promotional business, at the end of the day, we are businessmen. Some of us are just studying it. Some of us are putting it into practice. I'm putting it into practice. So if uh, 10 people were to come see one of those posters out there and two people came to me after the event saying you want a computer fix, I would consider it a success. So we decided to use a company that was already up and running instead of approaching uh, another corporation. And for the promotion part, and uh, we have the post, we have to post uh, on a Facebook page and for our event, uh, the activities, and that everyone knows what we are and when and uh, where we are for the event day. And we have the poster you can see, and uh, it shows to the students that like, we can post on the lobby and cafeteria or the elevator to the that everyone knows. And uh, for like ten years, uh, it work on the asset, uh, work for the SSU of the David part, uh, David contest, and uh, he can told he can told the he can told them, and that the David contest um, to <coughs> come here and drive uh, dry to yeah. our event day. Yes, yeah, so I work for. Uh, I used to work for Sweet Green at the Den Gallery. them to kind of make an announcement or possibly take your posters and we can get some of the Davis guys to come down here. Shuttle service is free so if somebody wants uh, some fun they can come on head down here. Please proceed. Before we get started, we're going to post our address on the That's the only way to get a raffle ticket. 
You can still come in and play this year. There's not a lot of people at the table. You only got a couple quarters for a joint fund. But if you want a raffle ticket, you got to pay two bucks. Um, so revenue is going to be $2 per person per game. We're looking to possibly at least break even. And any and all profit for the charities. Uh, it's, it's, of course, a non -for, non for profit event. And if a, for a break even point, uh, we will all donate $20 out of our pocket to Red Cross. Um, because that's, of course, the first thing that came into our mind in the second week when uh, Professor McCray mentioned that he needed charity. We all thought about the fourth McCray. So that's something we're going to do anyways, but uh, that's going to go on Red Cross. And uh, last but not least, I'll talk once again the interest barometer. Well, everybody loves video games, uh, mostly, not necessarily competitively, but just to have fun. Uh, ticket price are low, two bucks per game. Uh, gift card can be used for a game. As I mentioned, it's a fifty dollar value, and um, it's uh, definitely worthwhile to invest two bucks, possibly get out fifty or forty eight in that case. Uh, and a distraction from the hustle and bustle of college. So you know uh, the constant environment of uh, academics, studying, um, exams, midterms, and it's just a nice distraction. So is everybody else's event. But uh, video game is uh, you know, a good stress relief and uh, it's a distraction about the bustle. One thing I forgot to mention is our backup plan. Uh, I know it's part of the written portion, but uh, we're already going to have tables for ourselves, so we're going to bring in board games, just in case we do have a power failure or something. Uh, Monopoly, hackers, <laughs> whatever. We're, we're all going to have to go and do a hunt in our attic and find those games because uh, they're no longer acceptable. But we're going to bring those in, um, and it's going to be the same thing, two bucks per game. But uh, it's just a very uh, effective plan B, if I can do it So that's what you got in. Are you your break even at $20 or $70? Break even at $70. Yeah, I have a question for you, Ten here. No. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have, do you guys have FIFA? No, what? FIFA? FIFA? No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> all the what, what games do you actually have? Them? NBA 2K, um, <coughs> Grand Theft Auto uh, 5. Okay. Uh, we're going to bring it in um, <coughs> Dogs, Thieves, uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, we also have Need for Speed. Yes. Rivals. <laughs> Need for Speed Rivals. We don't have Forza, that's for Xbox only. We got Need for Speed Rivals. And uh, there's a couple other games that I have that uh, I haven't even opened. So <coughs> who are you um, working with for the Fort McMurray? Red Cross. Oh, Red Cross Foundation, yeah. They have a couple of campaigns going on right now, Fort McMurray, <coughs> and uh, we just wanted to, I guess, uh, focus on something that made close to home, something recent, so we, uh, we came to a conclusion. Any other questions? <coughs>